What's going on guys? You're watching GA's Two Cents and today we're going to take a look at an 80 plus gold rated power supply that actually meets platinum standards. What the heck kind of voodoo magic is this? Well, it's not magic at all. It's the V-Series power supply from Cooler Master. Now before we open up the box, we're going to go ahead and take the ceremonial tour around the outside of the box and take a look at the packaging. On the front here, you've got a nice image of the power supply and a silver uh, uh, label on here. It says power supply. It's good to know. Uh, fully modular cables, which is really good for easy cable management. Get rid of the ones you don't need and keep the ones you do. It's got a 130, 135 millimeter uh, fluid dyna dynamic bearing high quality extended life uh, silent fan. They use a pretty good quality fan on this, and it's 100% Japanese-made capacitors, which is really good for quality and having a nice silent operation without having any sort of coil whine or capacitor buzz or anything like that. So uh, it does say V700 right here on the front. I do like the styling of the logo because sometimes you do look at that uh, on the power supply. 80 plus gold, but with platinum rating, as I mentioned. A uh, nice Cooler Master logo there. On the side here, we do have some specs. Uh, Intel form factor ATX 12 volt. Um, it does work on AMD, so don't let that uh, worry you. It's got active PFC. Uh, dimensions are 150 millimeters by 170 by 86 millimeters or 5.9 inches by 6.7 by 3.4. 135 millimeter fan, as I mentioned. Uh, the efficiency is 90% on typical load. 90% efficiency, that's awesome. And it's got 100,000 hours uh, rated life. <laughs> That's a long time, guys. So you've got all your connectors listed there. We'll go over that when we open the package. And on the back here, you have uh, uh, fully modular, as it says, and it's got some uh, fan curves and power curve on here. Uh, we'll take a look at that a little more in depth when we get into the actual power supply. And it's got pictures of the cables that come with it, but who wants to look at pictures? We're gonna actually unbox this thing and take a look. So let's go ahead and get this package open and uh, let's see exactly what you get inside. Get the package open here. Get ourselves inside, see if we can do this without ripping everything apart, because I hate this type of packaging, honestly. It's got these little flaps on there, and they, uh, they like to get in there nice and tight. And I like to keep the packaging looking nice and new, because I'm kind of weird like that. So, all right, there's the outer sleeve off the box. You've got a nice uh, Cooler Master logo right there. And just like everything else these days, it is one of those flippy open type boxes there. And right off the bat, on the top you get a nice, very heavy duty, heavy gauge uh, power cable for your power supply from the wall. You get a very nice pouch with all of your cables in there. We'll take a look at that one in a second. And then you get foam, high-tech foam. I love high-tech foam. In fact, let's point this up a little bit there. Okay, I love high-tech foam. And then you get the power supply uh, inside of this pouch which is really kind of cool and then you get your instruction manual that comes with it and we'll just toss the boxes box aside over there so as you can see here or maybe you can't see this power supply is available in 700 850 and 1000 watt variants uh, and they do show different uh, mounting options in there. They've got uh, your pinout on here. But, you know, it's standard stuff. It's pretty much the same for almost every power supply, at least on the 24 pin and 8 pin for the power uh, CPU uh, power. But when it comes to the actual individual modular cables, uh, it's probably proprietary. But this manual is repeated in a bunch of different languages, and we're not that interested in that. We want to take a look here at this bad boy. And as you can see, this is actually a very attractive looking power supply. I really like this. Um, it's got a honeycomb mesh uh, grill on here, which is really good for airflow. Um, you've got your Cooler Master fan on there. As, as it said on the box, it is a fluid dynamic bearing, so that means that it's going to be nice and vibration free. Uh, it's all metal construction. I love this brushed aluminum look, this two-tone look on there. Uh, the V700 is actually printed directly onto the metal, so it's not a sticker. It's not a sticker that's going to peel up or come off on you. Uh, and then you've got, as you can see right there, V700 and all the technical information about the power supply. 
And on the back, of course, you've got your toggle switch. All high-end power supplies definitely come with toggle switches. So we'll go ahead and set this aside here. I really like the aesthetics. Oh, and then on the back here, not only do you have your modular plugs, but they are all labeled for you. So there's no guessing as to which one is which. And those look, this is a very sharp power supply. Oh my gosh, I've never actually seen one of these in person, only in pictures, and they look very, it looks very good. I, I really like it. Uh, inside the package here, you've got your 24 pin. They, it is uh, sleeved, it's not individual sleeved, but it is sleeved. And you can see, um, length is pretty decent, but it might be a little bit on the short side, to be honest with you. If you're running it up the back side of a big case, a um, little bit short. I would like to see a longer cable though, um, especially for a, a high-end power supply like this. Um, and then all the other cables that come with it are very uh, akin to just about every power supply on the market now. They're these flat cables, these ribbon cables, which uh, theoretically make them a lot easier to route. And it also makes it a lot easier to individually sleeve these if you decide you want to do that. It's probably something I'll end up doing as I'm going to be using this power supply in a build I'm working on here at the end of this year. Uh, you get one, two, uh, da, 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 da. okay, so you get two sets of PCI Express cables, which is good enough for, uh, yeah, so they're, they're piggyback off of each other. So you've got one power cable can supply uh, a graphics card. So this is a two-way SLI friendly power supply. So you see you've got six pin and eight pin on there and you've got two of these. So this can handle a two-way SLI or two-way uh, crossfire. You've got a four pin Molex here with a floppy drive cable. Who the heck uses floppy drives anymore? So it's got a floppy drive on there. You've got another four pin Molex. Uh, or take that back. You've got your SATA, another four pin Molex, your another SATA, your CPU uh, eight pin power, which is also split for four pin if you're using it on an older board or an AMD type board or old Intel board. And then you've got your uh, another SATA here. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and you also get nice black uh, case mounting screws here for your power supply. Now, what sets this power supply apart, honestly? And I asked Cooler Master straight up, if this meets platinum specifications, that's a great selling point. So why not classify this and advertise this as being 80 plus platinum. And basically the response was under promise over deliver. 93% um, is excellent efficiency, but it's not 93% at full load. Obviously, if you take a look at the power curve here, which I'm going to put up on the computer, the uh, full load tends to drop to efficiency to approximately, uh, again, right at about 90% efficiency. So. It's still, I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing rating. It's just, I guess they want to, like they said, under deliver and over promise or under, under, okay, let's get that straight. I apologize. Under promise, over deliver. There we go. We don't want to sound like some of the other guys out there that over promise under deliver. Yeah, we don't want that. But if you're looking for a great power supply, that's going to keep things nice and cool, nice and quiet make great use of the power being pulled from the wall so you're not killing your energy bills for a gaming computer or a rendering computer and it's going to take that power and turn it into usable usable efficient power and not turn it into heat that's just going to disappear into the atmosphere definitely check out the v700 series 700 watt 850 watt a thousand watts and if you've looked at my video that i did in the past about how much wattage your power supplies are really using you'll see that 700 watts 850 and a thousand is perfect sweet spot you don't need any more than that even if you're running multiple graphics cards so there you have it guys if you want to learn more about this product or learn a little bit more about the efficiency rating and stuff cooler master has an awesome website called cm university go and check it out i'll put the information down in the description and you can go and learn about all this stuff. And it's a very good educational site. You'll learn all about 80 plus ratings and power supplies and uh, all sorts of stuff there. So go and check it out. 
So there you have it. This is definitely something I think should be on your holiday buyers list. Uh, this is a series that I'm going to be doing here. Uh, it's I'm going to be doing a whole holiday buyers guide for 2013 because I know Christmas time is right around the corner. You guys are starting to get together some Christmas money, maybe some bonuses, maybe you mowed some extra lawns or or whatever, and you want to take advantage of some good deals that are going to be coming out this year, uh, this holiday season. Definitely put the V series power supply on your list as a great buy for the holidays. The price on this. And the efficiency and the quality of parts to the price ratio on this is absolutely superb. So there you have it guys, the V700 power supply. Great, great buy. I definitely will be using this power supply. This is not one of those ones as they send me and I'm gonna just stick it on the wall. This is definitely going in a build of mine. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Check out some of my other videos. And as always guys, I will see you in my next video. And we are going to uh, talk a little bit more about this later when we start the build, but it's quite a bit different than my 900D, which you're used to seeing. For graphics, we're going with the EVGA GTX 780 Superclocked graphics card.